I S U P K. My people, black people, Hispanic people, native Indians, if you are currently in church, I don't know what you're thinking and I don't know what you're doing. You must love voluntarily being pimped because that's exactly what's going on. It ain't nothing else. You not right, we right, you wrong. We got the answer back here in the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge. We are the real priests and prophets that was of in times and antiquity. The ancient prophets that existed then, they back in the earth now, and you looking at them. Black power, uh, 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. One body, one face, one Lord. Feel like I can take over the world with one sword. 144,000 men on one accord. Not being in this army is something you can't afford. The real niggas across the board ain't no suckers round us. You was looking for the truth. That's how you found us. Now it's time to lace your boots up. Yeah. We got the order from the king, round the troops up. Yeah. Let's go to war and die defending this nation if we gotta. Uh. Ain't no stopping us now. The chosen people love the power, standing uh. strong like a man. Cause in our camp, it ain't no cowards. Uh. 144 grand, nigga, it's step before the sign. Rather die like a man. You understand? Read it from the top. Second Maccabees, chapter 7, verse 31. Read it from the top. And thou, thou hast been the author of all mischief. Against the Hebrews shall not escape the hands of God. Man, listen. It don't matter how much propaganda and who you think you're fooling, Mr. Oppressor. But you're not fooling God, man. You're not fooling the God of Israel. He remembers your sins. The scriptures say that your crimes, that your sins have reached up into heaven, man. That's what the scriptures say. How can anybody forget, and what type of God that is so righteous would forget 400 years of slavery? 400 plus years of slavery. Are you kidding me? Do you think the God of this Bible would forget about all of the lynchings of your forefathers? About all of the hangings? All of the baby cutting out? The trail of tears? Your Mount Rushmore? You understand? You really think the God of this Bible forget about that? Your arrogance. You're stupid. You're, you're really arrogant and foolish to believe that you could commit crime across this earth and get away with it. You lock up brothers and sisters for committing a crime and your behind has yet to be uh, locked up, man. The Lord got a special cage for you devils, man. Because you're out of control. You've been out of control since you've been on this earth. You've been out of control since you've been in existence, oppressor. You've murdered. You've done horrible things. And you walk around like you're so nice and sweet. You walk around like no hugs and kisses and God loves everybody. You devils have never loved anybody but yourself. You've never loved anybody but yourself. You've hated the Latinos. You've hated the Native American Indians. You've hated black people, man. Perpetually, continually, man. You do it to this day. And which is why the Bible has given you a copyright. That's right, devil. You got a copyright in the Bible as being the author of mischief. Evil stops with you. My sons and daughters, they're going to grow up knowing that seeing you means this, this, is, this is not good. This thing right here needs to be in a cage. It needs to be serving me. We can't let this thing out right here. Because this thing is evil. You understand? Drop that. Take me to the book. Give me back to the Bible. You understand? Take me to the book of Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 1. You understand? Because we're going to keep bringing out the truth for all black slaves and Hispanics to understand. In a time like this, we got to understand and not be fooled by America's propaganda. You understand? By all of that confusion that they're trying to cast on black people and Latino people. We gotta know what's real and what's fake. We gotta know when the lies is when it's right there in front of us. We gotta know who to separate from and who to join hands with, man. 
If you black, native, and Hispanics, we supposed to be joining together. If you haven't seen it by now, America is falling. They're on their last limb. They ain't even skating on ice anymore, man. They ain't even skating on ice. They got war after war, battle after battle. You understand? They got disease after disease. Black man, Latino man, let America have the smoke that they've been so desperately waiting for. That they've been so desperately been murdering this earth, waiting for such an opponent that is going to wipe them out and give them a real challenge. Well, don't worry. No worry. America, you're going to meet your maker one day. You're going to meet your match one day. You're slightly getting the trailer right now. You got fires on the highways in California. I mean, forget about it. You got tropical storms, hurricanes. You got floods left and right. This is just the beginning, man. And it's glorious. This is God's work. Would Drake say God's plan? This is God's work right here, man. It's lovely, ain't it? It's lovely. I think it's real lovely to see America falling body part by body part. It's, op it's awesome. The government is falling. Your businesses is falling. It's, it's, it's lovely in my eyes, man. And it's only the beginning. You understand? You got that scripture? Go ahead and read. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 1. Uh -huh. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted to the oppressing city. And every city in America is an oppressing city, man. Every city in America where blacks and Latinos are at has oppressed us, man. And the scriptures say, whoa, destruction to this what? Filthy and polluted. Filthy and polluted. America, all of your cities are filthy and are polluted. But you walk around like it's the greatest thing on earth. You think you're, in a, you're a tourist attraction. What's in the tourist attraction about seeing black people oppressed? What's, what's, what's an attraction about that, huh? Any of you heathens and you devils can answer that for me? What's an attraction about seeing black people strung out on drugs, man? Cramped up in neighborhoods while you get to come over here and enjoy yourselves on some resorts. You get to come over here and soak up all of the juice up in D.C., up in the city. What's a tourist attraction about seeing black and Latino people destroyed, man? The scriptures say that the city, the oppressing city, it says, whoa, destruction to this filthy city, man. Why is it filthy? You're filled with drugs. You've destroyed the Israelites, man. You've destroyed black natives and Hispanics. You're filled with homosexuality. You understand sodomites? You got your pagan disgusting holidays. You got your shrimps and your crabs and your lobsters. This is a polluted city, man. It's polluted. You're eating spiders, sea cockroaches, land cockroaches, crabs and shrimps and lobster. You're smoking whatever drug, selling whatever drug, legalizing drugs. You're legalizing pedophilia. You got black women that's going missing in America. You're polluted. You're disgusting. And the Lord said destruction. This is in the Bible, man. Now I know this might be falling to black people's ears, but you have to understand that these are your records. The Lord said that the cities of America are disgusting. They're filthy. So the next time some oppressor try to call you filthy or look at you like you dirt or that you dust, not only are you the 12 tribes of Israel, the chosen people of the Lord, but the Lord said that they're filthy. And that's coming from God, man. Read it again. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 1. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted. Keep going. To the oppressing city, uh -huh. she obeyed not the voice. She received not correction. This city right here, man, the cities of America, they received not correction, man. They never learned their lesson, man. It don't matter how many floods, how many hurricanes, you understand how many diseases. This oppressive city has not learned their lesson. They got away with one bombing and did another bombing. They got away with getting one black man strung out on drugs to getting a billion black men strung out on drugs. They got away with enslaving black people and they just never stop. They never learn. They don't have a button, an off button that says enough is enough. To them, they get off. They have, a, they have such a, a desire for seeing black people wanting them at their feet, begging for their help, for their support. They love it. 
They get off on it every day. Joe Biden and the rest of them, they get off on it every day. Right now you got black and Latino people assisting America around, all around the nation, assisting them in their 9-11 services, man. And they loving it because we are there standing to protect and serve during their 9-11 ceremonies. But what if, which one of these devils is out here, you understand, feeling sorry for what has happened to black and Latino people? None. None. Not the Trail of Tears, you understand? Not Black Wall Street. Not the projects of D.C., the projects of Maryland, the projects of Central and North and South America. Ain't none of them feeling sorry for it. Ain't none of them feeling sorry for it, and on top of that, they look down on you like it's your fault. These devils are disgusting. Keep reading, verse two. She obey not the voice. She received not correction. She trusted not in the Lord. She drew not near her God. Listen, man. And as for us, we didn't draw. We didn't draw near to our God, man. We didn't draw near to our God in this filthy and destruction uh, in this destroyed kingdom. In this filthy kingdom, we didn't draw near to our God, which is why we get over. We, are we able to get over on our black leaders that have absolutely failed us? This filthy and destructive, uh, destructive city looks glamorous to the rest of the world. It looks glamorous to the rest of the world, and black people want to be a part of it because we have not received proper instruction and guidance, man. We haven't been received and taught the disgusting things of this earth. We don't grow up knowing in this age in 2021 that drugs is wrong because America went from locking up your father for it to now it's legal. Now, they don't know which one is right or wrong because the law says one thing, you understand? But this person says another. What the law says is legal. I said it before, I say it again. America done legalized pedophilia, marrying children, you understand? Drug abuse, they've legalized it. But your black, but your black father and your black mother are still destroyed. Locked up, strung out. Our black mothers and fathers are locked up and destroyed over the work of this devil. And this is how they've been able to keep their kingdom afloat. They've been able to keep their kingdom afloat through nothing but chaos, man. And they've been able to get over on us because we lost sight of our God. We didn't draw near to our God, man. Keep reading. Verse 3. Her price is with her. I'm sorry. Her prince is with her are growing life. And the princes of this city, of these oppressive cities, they're what? Growing life. They're roaring lions. You understand? We got to understand what these scriptures are saying. It's very descriptive when you read this Bible, man. When you slow it down, you break it down, it's very descriptive when we read it. The scriptures say the princes of this of this oppressive city are like roaring lions. Lions, they crouch and they devour. They're a predator. They do nothing but seek and wait for their prey. You understand? This oppressive city has put the drug in your neighborhood, went around the corner, sat in their car, and waited for you to touch it, just so they could lock you up. These uh, uh, wicked leaders, they plant drugs on you, lock you up for nothing. You understand? The scriptures say they are like roaring lions. They, can, they make up laws that oppress your people, that take away your rights and education. They say you got freedom of speech, but you don't got freedom of speech. You understand? They have you feeling like you're dirt, that you're nothing. That's what this devil has done. We have to understand how, how lying and how deceitful this kingdom is. We can't get beguiled by these light blue eyes and this blonde blue devil thinking that they got something nice to say and something righteous to say. There ain't a righteous bone in these devils' uh, bodies, man. They don't have no compassion, man. You walk around with lies underneath your belt and try to walk around like the heavyweight champion when you're a loser. You understand? Keep reading. Oh, God. Her judges are evening wool. Read it from verse 3. Verse 3. Her princess with her, within her are going light. Her judges are evening wolves. And her judges are evening wolves. 
The judges of this kingdom, kingdom are wolves. These judges, man, these devils are animals. They're wrong lions and they're wolves. They judge wrongly against us. Convicted of our crimes that we did not do, but do not convict themselves. They don't convict themselves of 400 years of record building and crime building, man. Causing generational curses, man. Causing nothing but pain and destruction with blacks and Latinos. The scriptures say their judges are like wolves. Keep reading. Oh, God. Her judges are even as wolves. They gnaw not the bones till tomorrow. They gnaw at our bones till tomorrow. You know the bone marrow, man? They gnaw at our bones to the marrow. You ever seen a dog with a bone? That, 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 there's nothing on the bone. You give a dog a dog bone, there's no meat on the bone, it's just a bone. But the dog keeps gnawing at that bone. You ever seen a wolf, the prey is already dead, the flesh is decomposed, but it just keeps biting on that flesh. The scriptures say that this devil, that these wicked judges, these wicked princes over these oppressive cities, of black cities and Hispanics, they gnaw at our bones all the way down to the marrow. They can't get enough. After they get you strung out on drugs, now they got you strung out wanting their insurance. Now they got you strung out on health insurance, mental insurance. I don't know how many different insurances they're gonna come up with because they can't get enough. They wanna beat you further down into the earth. They don't wanna do nothing but keep stomping on you, stomp after stomp, stomp after stomp. They keep gnawing on us like down to our bone marrow, man. They can't get enough of oppressing us and killing us and murdering us. That's why they've never stopped. You devils say all day long that you're not like your forefathers, but you never stop. The crime rate is extreme. The imprisonment is extreme. The murder is extreme. And that's what the scripture is saying. You gnawing on our bones, man. You love to see us bleed and scream and cry. You love it. You get high off of it. You understand? Read it again. Don't oh, come. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 3. Her prisons, prisons within her are roaring lions. Her judges are evening wolves. They gnaw not the bones to the morrow. Verse 4. Her prophets are light. A treacherous person. And the, the, the prophets, man, that the, the prophets that this scripture is talking about is them fake black leaders, man. What did it say about them? Her prophets are light and treacherous persons. You understand the black leaders that we've had are light. They're light. What are they light about? Standing for black people, man. Not popping out when the money's good, but being out there for black and Latino people. Telling them the truth. Telling them that they have an enemy. Telling them that they have an oppressor. Telling them what's right from wrong. But the leaders that we had have been light, have been weak, have been weakened by the culture of America. Now it seems good to cut your beard, to cut your braids, to cut your fro, to be a sellout, to dress half naked, to be a homosexual, to be a drug addict. They've been light and they've been treacherous, man. And that is how America's propaganda has been able to get over on us because we've had light and treacherous leaders, man. We've had light and treacherous leaders that did not tell us what's right from wrong, that did not bring out the lies of this kingdom, man. That did not tell us not to forget 400 years of slavery. You understand that that's just your great grandmother, right? That, that ain't too far down the line. That's some of our grandmothers. Some of our grandmothers is 80, 90 years old. If any of us know how to do some math, that's not too long ago. Slavery wasn't that long ago, man. And it still goes on to this day. You understand? Drop that. Take me to Judges chapter 16, verse 25, man. Take me to Judges chapter 16, verse 25. America, you have a history of not only oppressing us, but mocking and laughing at us. I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you but it's four of us They always scream squad but loyalty just mean more to us Let the 40s bust when it's time unleash the hunters I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners Niggas with weak rights
right hooks turn into gunners. Soldiers in abundance, marching in by the hundreds. We don't hold no punches, we letting them go in bunches. Crawled up out the dungeons, and now we do it humongous. Waiting on a hater to flex, we doing lunges. Rappers better give me respect, this be punished. Really, I don't worry about credit or where it's due. Just know your favorite rapper, toilet, I'm number two. Camp full of animals, like I'm running the zoo. Call me Ty Warhol, either call me the Jew. Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule. Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool. Only real spitters can wait in this type of water. A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter. You had a good while to get your fares in order.